Hello and welcome to Mute Gamer Zone. I don't have an intro, so let's just start. And the first game is a running Fred. In this game, you need to be fast and make smart choices. You play as Fred, a character who often ends up in dangerous places. The game puts you through levels full of traps like spikes and holes. It's simple to play. You just move Fred around, making him jump and duck to avoid obstacles. But don't think it's easy because of that. It's actually quite challenging. You have to be quick and make fast decisions to keep Fred safe from harm. As you keep playing, the game gets harder. You'll run through tricky areas with spinning blades, jump over deep holes, and slide under traps. The game keeps changing so you can't just learn a pattern and breeze through. A really exciting part of running Fred is how fast it feels. Fred keeps running ahead, and the game makes you want to go quicker and quicker. It's really thrilling when you're racing through a level, barely missing obstacles, and when when you finally get past a really hard part, it feels really good. But running Fred isn't only about staying alive, you can also collect coins, which makes the game more challenging and strategic. Do you take a chance and try to get coins near dangerous traps, or do you play it safe and stick to the safe path? These choices make each game different and give you reasons to keep playing. Running Fred is also funny. Even though Fred is always in danger, the game doesn't act too serious. Fred's funny reactions to getting hurt make the game silly. This mix of serious challenges and funny moments is what makes Running Fred special. In summary, Running Fred is a game that's easy to start playing, but difficult to stop. It's an exciting journey through dangerous obstacles that will test how fast you can react and how brave you are. Whether you play for a short time or a long time, Running Fred is enjoyable and challenging. If you haven't tried it yet, give it a go and see how far you can make Fred run. The second game is an age of war. It's famous for mixing strategy, fighting, and history. The game is easy to understand, but also has lots of layers, so it's fun for beginners and experts alike. Age of War is a game about protecting your base and growing stronger. You start in the old times and need to defend your base from enemies. You also try to progress through different ages. Each age gives you new soldiers, tools, and defenses to fight off enemies. The game is simple. Beat enemies to get gold, then use that gold to buy soldiers and make upgrades. Strategy is important. You need to decide when to buy soldiers and when to save up for better stuff. Balancing attack and defense is key, and making the right move at the right time can change the whole game. One good thing about the game is how it gets harder as you play. At the start, it's easy to learn, but as you keep going, it gets tougher. You need to think more and react faster. This makes the game more fun to play again and again as you try new ways to win or beat your old scores. Age of War has old-fashioned graphics that look nice and work well. As you move through time in the game, the graphics change, which feels good and shows your progress. The sounds in the game, like the music and effects, fit nicely with the visuals. They make the game feel more real and fun to play. In the world of browser games, there's a game called Swords and Sandals Gladiator that's been popular for a long time. It takes players to the exciting world of Roman gladiator battles. People who like strategy and action games enjoy playing it. You need to plan your moves carefully and be quick. First, you create your gladiator, choosing how they look and what they wear. Then, you fight in the arena, aiming to win and gain fame. The controls of the game are easy to understand, but let you make smart moves. Each turn, you decide what your gladiator should do, like move, attack, or use special powers. To win, you need to know your gladiator's strengths and weaknesses and use them against your enemies. When you win fights, you get gold. You can use this gold to buy better weapons, armor, and magical items. Also, your gladiator gets experience points, which make them stronger in things like strength, agility, and speed. This makes the game more interesting, as you can make your character better and plan how they grow. Even though the game doesn't have super fancy graphics like newer games, its art style still feels right for the gladiator times. The characters look serious, but also a bit fun, which adds personality to the fights. The battles happening on a flat surface help you focus on making smart moves instead of just looking cool. 
Evo Wars is a cool game you can play in your web browser. It mixes action, thinking, and evolving. It was made by Nightsteed Games and came out in March 2018. Since then, it's been getting updates, with the latest one in December 2023. You can play it on different devices, like computers and phones, so lots of people can enjoy it. Evo Wars is a game where you play in an online arena from a bird's eye view. The main goal is to make your warrior stronger by getting orbs and beating other players. Every time you evolve, your weapon can reach farther, but you move slower. This makes you think about how you play and change your tactics as you go. The game has 36 different evolutions, plus two secret ones, so there are lots of ways to make progress. At the beginning, players have simple weapons like swords and axes, but as they evolve, they get better weapons. The exciting part of the game is deciding whether to attack and grow quickly or play it safe and stay alive. Eva Wars is one of the top IO fighting games you can play online. It's simple to start playing, but it takes practice to get really good. New players can have fun, and experienced players will find it challenging. Whether you want a short game or a longer one, Evo Wars is exciting. It'll make you think fast and use smart tactics to survive. I know many of you already know about this game, but I still wanted to talk about it because it has different ways to play. Crunker is a free multiplayer shooting game you can play right in your web browser. You don't need to download or install anything, it's easy to start playing and good for short gaming sessions. The game looks old-fashioned with its pixel graphics, like the old shooting games, but it feels modern because it's fast and works well. Crunker is popular because it's easy to play but has lots of things to do. You can pick different classes, each with its own weapons and ways to play. Whether you like shooting fast or aiming carefully, there's a class for you. The controls are easy to understand and you can move smoothly. You can do cool moves like sliding and jumping off walls to escape enemies and move around the maps fast. Crunker has lots of ways to play, so everyone can find something they like. There are public modes like Free For All, Team Deathmatch, and Capture the Flag for classic shooting fun. If you want something different, there are modes like Kill Confirmed and Hardpoint with special goals that need strategy. You can also play party games and make your own modes like Gun Game, Infected, and Parkour. Talking about parkour, Crunker has a special parkour mode where you can try tough obstacle courses. Maps like Black Tower and Parkour Odyssey have tricky designs that need you to be quick and careful. It's not just about going fast, but also about getting the right rhythm and timing. It's a different kind of fun from the regular fighting in the game. Crunker is known for being easy to play, having lots of ways to play, and having content made by players. It shows how good browser games can be, like ones you download. And that's all. I hope you found some fun games to play. If you enjoyed watching, click like, subscribe for more, and share with others to help them find cool games too. See you next time!